Well, when I was in high school, I volunteered um, at the Western Center, which was a facility in Cannonsburg that no longer exists. Um, and really enjoyed that experience. So it was either that or become a priest. <laughs> so I went with that, which was good because I met my lovely wife shortly after that. Uh, hi, Mr. Chewy, and we welcome you to Lyft, and we helped you work on the car wash. And yeah, that's it. Hi, Bob. It's been such a pleasure to work with you all these years. You've done so many amazing things for so many children. You're going to be missed, but now is the time for you to enjoy retirement and do all those things that you love to do with your family. Enjoy. Bye, Bob. Best of luck. Happy retirement. Congratulations, Bob. We'll miss you. Enjoy your retirement. Thanks, Bob. Happy retirement. Happy retirement! Hi, Mr. Chewy. As greetings, I will miss you. Peace and heart. Bob, I'm wishing you the very best in retirement. And I just want to say that you have been such a light for so many people and all of the things that you do every single day to make a difference. All the little things that you do count so much and you have just really changed so many lives and been such a light to others. We'll miss you. Well, there are a lot of them. <laughs> uh, but I think it's an interesting story of how I ended up applying again. Um, years ago, I worked at a school called Pace School in Pittsburgh. Um, so it was about 50 miles from my house. And that uh, was okay. I was young, so the drive didn't bother me. But going to Pace one morning, I got stuck in the tunnel for two hours. On the way home that same day, I got stuck in the tunnel for two hours. <laughs> Made it home but realize that my bladder can't take that kind of punishment anymore. <laughs> so I had to get a job closer to home. So that weekend, give or take a week or so, I saw an ad uh, in uh, The Observer for a school psychologist at Cannon McMillan, and it directed me to contact a guy named Mike Daniels. That's what I did. Somehow got the job, and here we are 20 years later. Thank you for everything you've done over the years. Relax and enjoy your well-deserved retreat. Two man! Love you, buddy. Going to miss you. Really gonna miss you, buddy. Miss you terribly, but like I told you in the beginning, you're gonna like it here. <laughs> we like having you here. Chewy Changa, I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm so excited that you're retiring, though. You deserve such a nice, restful retirement after how many years of this. <laughs> With some good luck, buddy. We'll miss you. Good luck, Chew. Love you, buddy. Uh, I miss you, Bob Chewy. Have fun. Thank you, man. Craig and Ken here. I wanted to send you a farewell message. You will be missed at the middle school. We enjoy working with you over the years, but have a happy retirement and uh, have a good time fixing those motors. Bob, good working with you. Always like our chats and professional help uh, working with you here at the middle school. You certainly earned it. Enjoy your retirement. Bye, Bob. Good luck in retirement. Enjoy every minute of it. You should be very proud of all the work and all the families that you've helped. Happy everything. Mrs. Shulia, out of all the years you've been here, from the seven years I've been, you've always told me whenever I, you needed, whenever I needed. Hey, Bob. Uh, this is your friends at the Pathfinder School. We just wanted to uh, congratulate you uh, on your retirement and wish you much uh, uh, happiness and success. We're going to miss you, Bob. Good luck. Hi, Bob. Congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for always putting kids first and doing everything you can to support students, teachers, and families. I know you'll be greatly missed. Congratulations, and thanks for being one in a million. Hi, Bob. A few of us from Central Office want to wish you a great retirement. You always walked into the room smiling and positive, and that's one thing we're definitely going to remember and miss. And lots of adventures. We're going to miss seeing you every well when you would come down. <laughs> Happy retirement, Bob. Thanks for making my first year so easy. 
job has been great getting to know and work with you, and I'll definitely miss you, and thanks for everything. Congratulations! Hi, Bob Chewy, it's Donnie B. I hear you're joining us retired folks. Wanted to send a congratulations. Uh, a cut, there, there are a number of them. Um, the one uh, has to be, one advantage of, of working at a district for so long is that you have the privilege of watching kids grow up. You have the privilege of working with families over years. Some of those days are good and some of those days are, are more challenging. But through it all, um, I started working with one young man who's in kindergarten. And I remember that his, his stepdad literally carried him into the school for the evening. And uh, this young man had um, significant um, mobility issues. Very bright, engaging, kind young man um, who ended up graduating a couple years ago and asked me uh, if I would help him go to the podium to get his diploma, uh, to receive his diploma in principal. That was uh, a humbling moment because uh, I just have such tremendous respect for this young man. Uh, that, that was one of my proudest moments. I'm very proud of him. That's not my word. He's one I won't forget it. <laughs> and my story also involves a young man that I met in kindergarten. Um, he came here even knowing no English at all from the country of Brazil. Um, and I worked with him from kindergarten until third grade when he exited the program. And I was very proud of him. Um, his family moved to several different states um, over the next 10, 10 years or so. Um, and I hear heard from them every once in a while, but not too frequently. And when he was a 10th grader in Arizona, I received a beautiful letter from him. And this could make me cry. <laughs> the day he became a citizen of the United States. And he told me, um, he thanked me for helping him so many years ago to learn English and said that he would be where he was today and able to be a citizen of this beautiful country. And I have been there to help him learn English way of learning. So that's, that's something that You. Hey buddy, hey not many people get to spend 22 years working with their best friend, but I sure did. Hey good luck in retirement buddy and we'll see you real soon. Hi Bob, it's Donna B. Just wanted to wish you a great retirement. Congratulations, but you will be missed. I'll miss your smile, I'll miss your jokes, but I wish you all the best and good luck on your retirement. Bye. Congratulations, Bob. I hope your retirement brings lots of trips to Frankie Eyes and Laurel Caverns. Mr. Chewy, I'll miss you. Hey, Bob. Congrats on your retirement. It is well earned. I just want to thank you for always uh, keeping things in perspective for us and helping us go with the flow. I'll miss your um, phone playing Pat Benatar and IEP meetings. Um, especially the ones that are really stressful. So um, I hope you and Kim travel the world and have an absolutely incredible retirement. Thanks, Bob. Hi, Bob. Wishing you nothing but the best in retirement. You will truly be missed. Good luck and best wishes, Bob. <laughs> Why don't you take that one? You made all the plans. I'm so excited. You know, Bob's been so dedicated to the district for so many years, and I'm just so excited to have him back, you know, and to be able to spend time with him. Um, we want to bike and kayak and travel, spend time with family and friends that we really haven't seen very much through, throughout our careers in Canada. So I didn't tell you that I just put the job as a bus for Canada now. <laughs> Call, did I? And I didn't tell you that I signed you on to be a monitor. Every single thing you do matters. You have been created as one of a kind. You have been created in order to make a difference. You have within you the power to change the world. And you, Bob Chewy, have. Good luck in retirement. You will be so missed. Congratulations and happy trails, Bob. 
Hey Cherry, I can't believe you're actually retiring before me. I've never met anyone in 32 years advocating for families and kids the way you did, no matter what the cost was to the district. I can say that now that you're retiring. Have a great time, enjoy it. Good luck, Bob. Thank you for everything you've done. You have taught me so much. You've been such an amazing support to the students, to my staff, to the parents. You are so going to be missed and you are so valued. So God bless and have just an awesome retirement. Hey, we're so happy. Hey, Bob, just want to say it has been a pleasure and an honor to have worked with you for the last 14 years. Enjoy your retirement. Hey, Bob. I want to say happy retirement. We're going to miss you a lot here around Canon Mac, um, and we hope to continue to uphold all of the things that you put in place and all the things that you did for the families and the students and hope to continue it all. I hope that you have a great retirement. I hope you have lots of uh, carrots and celery and car fixing and fun time with your family and enjoy retired life with Ken. So we will miss you. Bob, you're a remarkable man and you've done some quite remarkable things for our students and our families over the years. Um, I wish you the best in your retirement. You'll be missed. Hey, Bob. 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 Hey, Bob